Okay, dear students, let us see what is there in this question now. Monochromatic light is incident on a double slit. Double slit means that interference will be taking place. Both slits have finite width. The light then forms an interference pattern on the screen some distance away, which graph shows the variation of intensity with distance from the center of the pattern. Okay, my dear students, so this is just a simple question. Like, I'm simple, I mean to say a straightforward question that they are asking, like what kind of pattern will be there on the screen when there are two slits which are illuminated by a monochromatic light. So obviously we know that in such cases, the interference pattern is modulated with the diffraction pattern. What do you mean by this? See, this A option is clearly showing only and only interference and the diff effect of diffraction is really very less in this. Okay. So we have to move, we have to modulate this thing. Like the magnitude is now modulated. Actually, the answer will be D, I say. So how is it? Like this is called the modulation of the interference pattern. The variation in the amplitude that is brought up. It is because the diffraction is not zero. You see, there is a certain finite width of each slit. So theta is equal to lambda divided by b when we talk about diffraction, isn't it? So how can say how can you say that the effect of the diffraction should be really very small or it will not be happening? So theta should be really very large. So if theta is large, it means b should be really, really very small. So this kind of a pattern will come if you are using very narrow slits. Highly narrow slits, like a very narrow. So if B is really very less, theta becomes really very high. So this point at which the dip is there, that point is really very far away. That is why it gives you a feeling that the amplitude is not in, not decreasing considerably. Okay, so that is why uh, this pattern can be found only in the narrow slits. Overall, if you are having some finite width or something, this is what is the pattern that is going to happen when interference is overlapped with the diffraction so this so the answer will be d clearly there is no doubt about that okay my dear students this is professor Varun. please subscribe to the youtube channel all the best bye